Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to Red Lentil Healing. Today is Friday. We're just doing a um, quick, I want to do a quick um, look at, I want to do a quick look at Joe Biden. And since um, after Bernie has announced that he's dropping out, it's now pretty much in Joe Biden's court as the Democratic presidential nominee. So I want to take a quick look at Joe Biden's energetic health for the next two months to see what areas he's um, focusing on healing within himself, his energetic body, so he can focus on running a successful um, campaign against Trump. So I'm just going to, I'm actually going to do a little bit more in depth. I'm actually going to pull five cards just to take a quick look and just see um kind of where his his energy is for the next two months, especially during um, rona Ick, everything that's kind of going on to see what he needs to be, should be, and hopefully, most likely, probably is putting his, um, his energy. Now, I'm going to say this now. If you're going to comment on pro or against any of the Bernie or Biden, this is not the place. This is not saying pro Bern, pro Biden, anti Bernie, any of that. Um, we have to focus right now on healing our nation in um, outing Mango Mussolini. So this is really just an open ended, no intention attached look at Joe Biden in his energetic body, what he is looking at, what he's thinking about, and what he's working on within himself over the next two months as he's getting, as we get into, um, as we exit these primaries and get towards closer to November. Okay. So first card, honesty, throat chakra, making sure that he speaks the truth to the nation about how our predicament and where we are right now. So this is an attempt to really, truly outline you guys. This this stuff is real. What we're dealing with is real. And you may not have been given the truth from your government that exists right now. So really putting an honest message out there. Relationships. Um, this does not surprise me. Sacral chakra, working on relationships. Um, I have a feeling that he is going to be really working hard to pull over those who really, really loved Bernie and was hoping that Bernie would be the candidate, working on forming stronger relationships with them to try to close that gap. So working on that sacral chakra with relationships. Also potentially um, building relationships with people who he would like to be in his cabinet. And I can guarantee just energetically, my stomach is screaming, yes, 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 yes. Bernie Sanders is going to have a high position in the cabinet. So working on those relationships. Guys, root chakra, grounding. So making sure that he is staying grounded throughout all of this. There's, I, I can't imagine how difficult it is running for president, running for any office. Um, that level of stress that happens, especially running against the orange tyrant, is going to be exhausting, especially for... And with everything else going on, with um, massive unemployment that's happening right now, the deficit is redunculous. Um, the stress and the fear and the panic that everyone has, he is going to work on making sure that he is touching in. Um, he needs to make sure he's touching in um, with Mama Earth and just grounding himself as much as possible. Um, you know, part of the grounding is practicality, stability, making sure that he has in himself and around him what he needs to make sure that he's constantly staying grounded. It was funny when I pulled what Trump needs to do to beat Biden, um, Trump got gut instinct. And I think that's very interesting. You guys saw me shuffle these cards earlier. Biden got the same card. He really needs to work on his solar plexus chakra in particular to using that gut instinct. Um, he tends to, some of the criticism about Biden, he tends to shoot off at the hip. Some of the praise for Biden is that he shoots off at the hip. So when he can find a balance in trusting his gut instinct on when to act, when to speak, and what to, he needs to do, 
that will serve him well. And then lastly is, again, action. So two root chakra cards here. Action, okay? Movement, perseverance, discipline, and motivation. Making sure that all of his actions speak for who he, for what needs, who he is and what, he, what needs to be done for this country, okay? Um, take that as you will. So we got a pretty good array of cards. Um, the only two reoccurring is our root chakra. So just making sure grounding and then action. Not so that would make sense. Just again, um, this is this is about to, as one of my dear friends Courtney says, this is about to be no hope. This is about to this is all the work that he did to get here was just the prelude. Now we're at the beginning. Okay, we're at true chapter one on these next couple months to to battle um, the orange tyrant. So um, it may be controversial, guys, but vote blue no matter who, because um, we've got, if, you're, if we want positive change, progressive change, any shade of that blue to green will help us get there versus the red. Okay, that's just my little my little spiel. So thank you for tuning in guys. Um, if you have a recommendation on what you would like to see me do another reading on, just drop it down below in the comments section. Um, make sure you tune in next week for another live session with um, me and Tallulah from Tallulah's Tarot. Until um, the next video guys, make sure you take care of yourself so we can take care of others so we can collectively Take care of Mother Earth because she needs us right now. Stay all little grimy behinds in the house, social distancing, and I will talk with you all later. Ciao.